Good morning from Arkansas. Made a road trip down and uh, man, we found some massive trees down here. Look at the size of this rascal. Holy moly. Man. Look at that tree. That massive thing. Man, I've, those are so big. I'm here to visit, and they said, we'll go on out and see what we got. So I got to get out and do a little walking. All right, let's see. I love these old gates. <laughs> Pretty neat. Be sure to shut the gate behind you. <laughs> I don't know if there's any any critters out here, any cattle out here. I've seen evidence of it up at the front. But they do have a cow or two. I said, well, what do you got out here, Nancy? And this is down here with Nancy Holland. And she said, you just go out there and look. So, <laughs> here we are. Let's well, see what we got out here. I know they had a beautiful sun sunrise over here. So, I want to walk that way. See what's right down here on the other side of this brush pile. Looks like I see some water down here. Oh, what kind of flowers do they got over here in this field? Let's go look at that. Let me some Alabama flowers. <laughs> I can't get over the size of these. They're a willow oak. That's what they are. These up here in the yard. Now, I haven't looked at this one here. I don't know if that's the same thing or not. But look at these flowers. And there's the honeybee. It's one of God's little creatures. Where's he at? There he is. Isn't that neat? Doing his duty out here. Not a honeybee, that's a little bumblebee. But <clears throat> well, the rascal's busy. Well, they got some wildflowers scattered through here. Isn't that nice. So anyway, I'm gonna come out here and and see what we had in scripture. Uh, sticking with in 2 Timothy. <clears throat> 2 verse 18 is where we're at today and <clears throat> these references I've got are, are out of Paul's writings you know I stick stick with Paul our apostle for the day the risen Christ revealed thanks to him that he didn't reveal to anyone else and I've seen uh, people argue over that fact I've, I've even been told that he was a false apostle. And I'm like, okay. Yeah, if that's what you think. You know? And you know, God gives us each the faith to believe. We're all given a measure of faith. The measure of faith is given to us. So, so there's that. If you believe, it's because God wants you to believe right now. It's your time. He's got us all scripted into something here. So, anyway, here's what we've got in 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 18. And y'all check out what's around me. Who serves as to the truth, saying that the resurrection has already occurred and are subverting the faith of some. Having faith and a good conscience, which some, thrusting away, have made shipwreck as to the faith. For a root of all 
of the evils is the fondness for money, which some, craving, were led astray from the faith, and try themselves, try themselves on all sides with much pain. O Timothy, that which is committed to you, guard, turning aside from profane prattlings and antipathies of falsely named knowledge, which some are professing, and as to the faith they swerve. Now if Christ is being heralded, that he has been roused from among the dead, how are some of you saying that there is no resurrection of the dead? Neither has Christ roused. If then we were roused together with Christ, be seeking that which is above, where Christ is, sitting at the right hand of God. For it must be that there are sects among you that those also who are qualified may be becoming apparent among you. <clears throat> of these things, be reminding them, conjuring them in the sight of the Lord not to engage in controversy for nothing useful to the upsetting of those who are hearing. And that's the references to 2 Timothy 2 and verse 18. All right, so we won't add anything to scripture. We'll put that up. That sun coming up here top that tree right here. Isn't that pretty? That's my first time coming to Arkansas to stay uh, for a while. I like that sun coming up like that. Isn't that awesome? But anyway, it's going to be an awesome day. It's going to be a beautiful day. I think it's time we go see what God's got for us. You all ready? I think I am. Let's do it. And I'll talk to you all tomorrow. See you then. Have an awesome day.